What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Celio's Network. Today's deck profile is going to be on my list for Dark Box, um, which is focused around a couple new tag teams that are Dark type. Um, this deck has been insane in testing so far. Uh, Dark Rai Umbreon's GX attack is just really, really, really good. Um, so yeah, let's start looking at the cards that are in this deck. Um, Dark Rai Umbreon or Umbreon Dark Rai tag team is new and unbroken bonds um we've got black lance for dark dark colorless 150 this attack does 60 damage to one of your opponents benched pokemon gx or ex as well uh so that's really nice you do 150 to the active and then also snipe some damage to the bench to potentially set up a later gx knockout uh also let's mention it has 270 hp which is a lot of hp um, and then Dark Moon GX is pretty nutty. So for Colorless, your opponent can't play any trainer cards from their hand during their next turn. Um, and then if this Pokemon has at least five extra Dark Energy, so six in total, your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out. Uh, so yeah, your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out and they can't play trainers. That's It's pretty good. Uh, I checked. I did the math. Uh, turns out it's busted. Um so that's our ideal GX attack for the game. Um, if you can like stick a black market prism the same turn you do that so they can't replace it with another stadium, uh, that's insane. But just in general, Dark Moon GX is very good. And so the deck is built around making sure we can Dark Moon GX and then clean up with a, another Darkrai or Sableye Tyranitar. So the next tag team we'll look at is Mega Sableye Tyranitar Tag Team GX. Um, in addition to being really cool looking and also a really cool duo, uh, a mega Pokemon in the tag team, the card's also really good. Uh, so 280 HP, really tanky. Uh, and the attack we're going to be using is Greedy Crush. For four dark colorless, which in this deck is five colorless, uh, that's 210. And if your opponent's Pokemon GX or EX is knocked out by damage from this attack, take one more prize card. Um, and so since Black Lance does 60 to a bench Pokemon, um, if you're finishing up that 60 damage Pokemon with Greedy Crush later on in the game, that's 270, which will knock out most uh, Pokemon GX tag teams. So you'll be taking four prizes if you knock out a tag team with this, or three prizes if you knock out a regular GX with it. Um, so if you Dark Moon a tag team, like let's say against Picarom, and then, like, Greedy Crush, there's Zara Aura. You take all six prizes off of those two attacks. Just making sure the cards are lined up. I have a new setup. Uh, so I'm also going to mention that. If there's any audio problems or the video shaky, sorry about that, guys. Uh, new uh, new uh, camera clamp and mic setup and stuff for the deck profiles. Um, our last tag team is going to be Mewtwo and Mew GX. Um, <clears throat> I didn't want to add a second Mega Sableye Tyranitar, and I also don't want a third Umbreon Darkrai. Um, so we're just going to have the Mew. Um, it's a different type, which can be nice if we're playing against fighting types. And also if we had to discard our Mega Sableye or discard our second Umbreon or the second Umbreon's prize, uh, then we can use Mewtwo to copy it. Then we have a 2-2 Weavile GX line. Um, I have one of each Sneasel, the Celestial Storm Sneasel, and the Ultra Prism Sneasel, just to see if either of them ever mattered in play. And Sneaky Smash is good, so I think they should just both be Sneaky Smash. And then two of the new Weavile GX, which is very important to our setup. Um, the Shadow Connection ability... Uh, as often as you like during your turn, you may move a basic dark energy from one of your Pokemon to another. So this allows us to move all of our energy around and uh, get it where we need to for our high energy attack costs. Um, it's attack claw slash to dark and a colorless for 130. Um, it's notable, I guess it's good versus Malamar, and that's probably it since they're playing Tina's. So they'll two-shot you and you can knock out two Tina's with it instead of them two-shotting a tag team. Uh, with spell tag damage as well. They'll two shot a regular GX, so you trade pretty evenly there. Um, and then next we have a 3 3 Naganadel line. Uh, these Poiples should probably be the Poiple that uh, poisons instead of the eye opener. I have the poison Poiple in my Blissapalan, I just didn't 
uh, switch them out. So these are proxies for that one. Uh, but yeah, so three Naganadel for its charging up ability once during your turn. Before your attack, you may attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to this Pokemon. Uh, so this is going to get dark energy from the discard to the nag, and then the Weavile is going to move it where it needs to go. Um, I've, cho I've chosen this over Sharpedo because I don't think Sharpedo is very good unless you're going for like a super big board of energy for like a Zora uh, Greninja tag team build. And I'm not particularly fond of Zoro Ninja, at least in this dark box type deck. Um, sorry, I hit the camera there a little. Um, I'm not really fond of Zoro Ninja. Um, and I think Naganadel works better for this because after your Umbreon Dark Rise knocked out, you can charge up a couple more energy and uh, go at it again. So, uh, yeah, we're going with Naganadel, and in testing, it has worked beautifully. I've never once wanted it to be Sharpedo. It's a nice, consistent flow of energy instead of uh, like chancy bursts of energy. Uh, then we have, um, we'll put the Ditto down next since it can be either a Sneasel or a Poipol. Then we have to the Dene GX. Um, this is our draw support Pokemon for the deck. It's pretty important to see a lot of cards early so we get our basic Pokemon down to set up our stage ones for turns two and so and uh, forward. Um, and it's also good to discard cards because we want dark energy into the discard pile for uh, Naganado. Then we have a Darkrai Prism, which has Nightmare Star. Uh, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to your bench, you may attach two Dark Energy cards from your hand to it. Um, so that's a really, really good acceleration of two Dark Energy. As early as turn one, if you have this in Energy in hand, it's kind of like the Cocoa Prism for Dark decks. Uh, and then we have a Reset Hole, uh, Mars Shadow, because Power Plant hurts this deck a lot because we need Shadow Connection to move our um, energy around. So reset hole, you can discard the Mars Shadow from your bench to remove a stadium from play and then get back on with your GX abilities. So that's it for Pokemon. Like I said, I don't like Zoro Ninja at all in this list at least. Um, and this list is working really, really well. Consistent, um, getting the turn two Umbreon Darkrai attack pretty frequently. And then uh, if you get the turn two Darkrai attack with three energy, then it's pretty easy to get the turn three uh, GX attack with six energy. And um, depending on how it's, depending on if you get the Dark Rye Prism in or not, you can also retreat and go to a fresh Dark Rye and have six energy on that. Uh, the Dark Rye Prism helps the energy excel a lot. So on to the trainers, we'll start with the four ofs. We've got four Lily. Um, like I said, we want to see a lot of cards early to get our basics down for our stage ones. Um, the Poiples and the Sneasels. So if we go like the Dene into Lily or Lily into the Dene, that's a max of 14 cards drawn off of that. So we'll see a lot of cards get some dark energy into the discard pile. Uh, and that's good. For Acrobike, like I said, we want to see a lot of cards and we want to discard some dark energy in the process. So Acrobike's good. And this also helps if we have to like discard. Like, let's say we get Umbreon and Sable Tar off of the Acrobike. We pitch the Sable Tar, and then we can just use Mewtwo to copy it when we're ready for it. Um, so that's it for the four ofs, actually. Uh, we'll put that right there. And then onto the three ofs, we have three Mysterious Treasure. Um, this is actually one of the other reasons why I'm using the Ganondel over Sharpedo, because the Ganondel has a really good search engine for it. Uh, the three treasures are enough, and it's also very nice if they have a power plant down, Mysterious Treasure is an out to Mars Shadow, which can get rid of power plant. Then we have three Pokemon Communication to help us find our Sneasels and our uh, non-psychic Pokemon, but we also have three Cherish Balls, so I'm just going to put them down at the same time as Pokecom, um, since... So the Cherish Balls can find any of our GXs, the Mysterious Treasures can find the uh, Psychic Pokemon, and then Pokecom can find anything and also fill in the blanks that Cherish Ball and Mysterious Treasure do not cover. I'm going to actually switch the four ofs and the three ofs, just so we have more room this way. Sorry about that. Um, and then we have three Cynthia and three Hapu. Um, so I'll put these down so I can talk, to, talk about them at the same time. Um, Hapu is a really, really good supporter card. Um, I might be overestimating it just because I've been testing this deck and Mewtwo box a lot, 
and it's amazing in both of these decks. Um, but looking at the top six, choose two and discard the rest, has a lot of synergy with these decks that you want to discard cards with. It also lets you dig for two certain cards that you need. And a lot of times with this deck, all you need is a couple cards, like your energy attachment for turn and the Weavile GX, or Dark Ride Prism and another Dark Energy, uh, things along that line, those lines. So um, I really like Hapu. And then Cynthia is a nice option when you don't want to discard cards that are in your deck if there's a lot of hits in there that you know you still need if it's early in the game um also cynthia can be good if you need like if you need to high roll like multiple cards or you need to like cynthia into like sneasel poipel the dene energy so you need more than just two cards that hapu can give you um then for the two ofs we just have two pokey gear to help us find our supporters um, and then onto the one ofs, we've got a black market prism, which uh, when a dark Pokemon with dark energy it, attached to it is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, that player takes one fewer prize card. So this can be really, really good if you time it with Umbreon Dark Rise GX attack, or just in general if your opponent doesn't have a replacement stadium for it. Um, one Viridian Forest. Um, we need more than one stadium because we're trying to counter power plant and also this is good for discarding cards and finding an extra energy if we need it um, then we have one u-turn board i actually got the inspiration for this from uh pablo mesa's list on his youtube channel Tablemon. um this poke the pokemon this card is attached to has one lesser tree cost when this card gets discarded return to your hand so if you like put this on a dark rye um to retreat it to another dark rye and then maybe the damage dark ride gets knocked out you get this back and you can put it down to something else um a, a lot of times i just end up putting it on weavile gx um this might end up being an escape board so you can retreat out of paralysis against picaram but um that hasn't been an issue as of yet because a um an alone ride to that swings for 160 then has to swing for 80 after that and that's not a knockout so they need an electric power as well um so on a dark ride that is um so it depends it, it would be nice to be able to get out of um paralysis though so maybe this turns into an escape board and then lastly we have a nanu um which up until now i have never successfully fit into a deck and wanted to keep it um choose a basic dark pokemon in your discard pile and switch it with one of your pokemon in play um all the damage special conditions and energy stay on um this actually has come into play i'd say like two out of seven testing games I, I i played between seven and ten games with this deck last night and i used nano like i used nano like two to three times um it it won me two games i remember that i used it um where mega stable i tyranitar was discarded and i had an umbreon dark ride gx that just used its gx attack and then wasn't knocked out in return. So I just non it into Mega Sableye Tyranitar and then won the game with uh, Greedy Crush. And you can also, like, if your powers are shut off, you can charge up energy to a nag and then switch a dark Pokemon with a nag and then get back to attacking. You can Dark Ride Prism to energy, switch it. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff you can use non for. Also, if something gets stuck in the active, it, it's not just bench Pokemon, so... Um, Nanu has actually been putting in work, so I'm glad I have it in there. Um, and then we are playing for 8, 12, Dark Energy. Um, I had 13 originally, but I don't think it was necessary. We have a lot of discard in this deck. We have 3 Treasure, 3 Hapu, 4 Acrobike, and Viridian. That's 11 discarding trainer cards. Um, and then we also have the 2 Dedenne. So that's 13 cards that potentially discard things that we want to discard. Um, so I'm fine with our odds of discarding Dark Energy, especially after testing the engine last night, and it worked out beautifully. So, uh, yeah, I think this deck is really, really strong. Um, the GX attack of Umbreon Darkrai and the normal attack of Sableye Tyranitar, they're just obnoxiously powerful. Um, and this engine gets you set up the way you need to, in my opinion. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile and might try this deck out for yourself. Uh, let me know what deck profiles you want to see in the future and any specific matchups as I continue testing for Worlds. We're a little over a month away, so the grind is really on now. 
I'll see you next time here on Celio's Network.